Welcome to Oring Industrial Networking Corporation. Today we are introducing our network management software tool that can help you to integrate or integrate number of switches with a single step and monitor all the networking equipment from a single location. We call it Open Vision. Open Vision is a complete suite that have consists of four utilities which can help you to monitor, to configure and manage all the network traffic and, and switches. It is also help you to view all the network, physical network appearances and connected devices over the network. In today's environment, you can see that we are selected 40 switches, many switches to, to configure into a ring, single ring and ma ma configure them and manage them and monitor them from a single platform. With the Open Vision Suit and Commander Utility, you can configure all the switches from a single location in a single step. Once you open the configuration commander utility, that it will help you to discover all the network switches. Before you start the configuration file or you can start the configuration, you have to turn on all the switches and you have to connect to them in a link. Right now you don't need to set up any IP addresses, the default IP addresses is valid. So once you are connected them, they can be connected in the same IP addresses which is our default default IP address is 192.168.10.1 so all the 40 switches are right now at the same IP addresses but they are connecting together and we have same domain for the notebook as well where we install our network management software from the discovery page you can see that the commander automatically or to come from the commander pro you can see that once you press the discovery function, it will discover all the network switches. Fire. Uh, it will discover all the network switches automatically. It means that you don't need to discover anything. Now, once the next step will be like how to assign the IP addresses and the valid IP addresses that there will be no conflict. So once you you have to start the group IP setting wizard. From this wizard, you can set up a single switch or you can set up a multiple switch or you can set big amount of switches about 100 or more than that switches so if you have a number of network switches uh, on your network when you attach them it is much more easier to configure them in a single step from here you can set the IP range you can select all the switches you can select the IP range you can select there's uh, from the beginning range and you have to select the end and then you select the subdomain mask and everything. Once you enter the related parameters, you can apply the settings. And once you apply the setting, uh, settings are successful, you can see that all the IP addresses are marked. So it means that all the IP addresses are assigned as per your parameters. You can select all the switches which are discovered earlier with the discovery function you can select again you can select a single switch or you can select multiple switches and you can log in and on them simultaneously so here we select all the switches and we we select login and once we log in it means that we configure all the switches we can configure all the switches at the same time normally we we spend 5 to 10 seconds or maybe about 40 seconds to configure the IP addresses of the each switch. So here you can see like in a 40 switches we can only spend 5 to 10 seconds to assign the IP addresses. It means that you save a huge amount of time and you prevent the chances of human error to memorize all the IP addresses and everything. So it is much more easier and much more helpful for a network administrator to man to configure and manage the switches over the network. And you can setting up all the IP addresses with the visualize management tool. Group configuration. Once you successfully assign the IP addresses, you can refresh or you can press again the discovery filter, which may which will show you the newly discovered IP addresses and the assigned IP addresses. So the I, all the IP addresses will be assigned automatically from the range you assign. Oring is a function of our uh, established and ring protocol based on our O-Rings proprietary protocol which can recover in 10 milliseconds. It is the fastest recovery time uh, for the redundant ring in a, any environment. For this group settings, 
you can select all the group uh, all the ring, all the switches which you want to be in a ring uh, ring application or ring topology then you can select all from the single step you can select all the switches or a required number of switches that you want to involve in a ring then once you set up uh, once you selected the switch you can select the ports uh, primary link and uh, redundant link ports and to establish the o ring topology you can select uh, rstp orstp uh, and uh, o ring proprietary ring protocol and from a single apply settings you can select the switches in a ring topology so it means that all the switches are connected in a ring function now here you can see we can select single switch we can select multiple switch this is a visualized management so you can see the switches are available and which switch you want to be in a part of a uh, ring function is it should it can be all switches or it can be number of switches or maybe if you want to make uh, a small ring uh, uh, many couple of small rings or maybe more small rings in in one network you can manage all those network rings in in a again within a few seconds you establish a ring topology application which means that again you are avoiding any human chances of error where you can make changes differently or make setup differently and the ring won't function so you have to check again and again but this function allows you to automatically assign all the things so that the ring can function properly without any errors at the first time ring works uh, the rings uh, the ring topology works uh, immediately the soon fini you finish your settings gives you a complete view of networking topology next step is we are going to break the link uh, for uh, to check our ring redundancy function now we uh, now we break the link you can see we we disconnect one of the cable and immediately at topology view you can see the link is broken but the primary but the redundant link is up now so the ring function is working fine without any connection loss but on the topology view you can see that there, there is a red link which means that the IP addresses of that switch you can see that it's connected to neighboring device is become red it means that the primary link is gone is went down now and the network administrator should take the necessary action while it is uh, the ring uh, the network is on a, a redundant path working fine on a redundant path to establish the uh, to re-establish the primary link you can here we we put it back the link we connected the link put, uh, back and then you can see on the topology view that the link turned into yellow which means that we already recovered the ring we uh, we recover the link or we take the necessary action uh, against the error now we link the uh, link it back and the primary link is back o ring is always a step ahead with innovative feature and functions to improve your network management uh, network management ability and to stabilize the network performance of your industrial uh, at your industrial environment thank you very much for joining us